Are you struggling to pass the CPA exam? Did your review course fail to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, the number one course supplement, where the right teacher makes all the difference. All right, now let's take a look at application controls, and in particular, input controls. So there's two types of controls in an IT system, general and application controls. General controls is what we did in the previous video, designed to ensure that an organization's control environment is stable. And that's where we talked about the segregation of duties between applications development, system programming and maintenance, and computer operations. We're going to move on from general controls in this video, look at application controls, and one of the biggest, most important application controls are input controls. Because if a company doesn't have control over what's going into their computer system, then nothing that comes out can be trusted. So application controls, they can be placed in one of three categories, input controls, processing and file controls, output controls. In this video, we're gonna be all about input and origination controls. What's the difference between input and origination? Well, input implies manual input, a person doing data entry manually. Origination controls has to do with input, but the input is done with maybe a barcode scanner. So this video, input and origination controls. What's the purpose of input controls? What if they asked you that in a written communication question? Well, it's to ensure that the transactions that are entered into the system are valid, complete, and accurate. So we'll go over those terms, valid, complete, and accurate. What about efficiency? Well, if you're still doing manual input, then you're not going to achieve efficiency. But if you're using a barcode scanner, then we can add efficiency as one of the purposes of input controls. Let's start with valid. One of the purposes of input controls is validity. Company needs to make sure that all transactions are appropriately authorized. All transactions entered represent actual economic events, that no fictitious transactions are present, no duplicate transactions are included. You might think of the term existence with validity, because with the existence assertion and auditing, if you remember, the client's asserting that all transactions entered represent actual economic events, that no fictitious transactions were entered, no duplicate transactions were included. So with validity, similar to existence, the company is trying to ensure that whatever was entered into the system really should have been entered and nothing's overstated. Then there's complete. Complete would be the opposite. With completeness, the concern was always understatement, right? The entity wants to make sure that all transactions have been captured. There's no missing transactions. The client asserts that all transactions that should have been captured have been captured, and the auditor would be concerned with understatement, that the data is not complete. Another one of our input controls is accuracy, that all data has been correctly transcribed. All account codes are valid. All data fields are present. All data values are appropriate. And then efficiency. If input is done using minimal resources like scanning instead of hand entering data, then you have efficiency. Okay, regarding input and origination controls, which of the following correctly describes validity? One, ensuring that all input data are approved. Yes. Two, ensuring that input is done using minimal resources, that would be efficiency. So A is correct. One of the goals of input controls is validity, that all transactions are appropriately authorized. All transactions entered represent actual economic events. No fictitious transactions are present. No duplicate transactions are included. And that's like existence in auditing. That's like where the client asserts that everything that was recorded really should have been. It represents a valid transaction. But two is wrong, ensuring that all input data is done using minimal resources, that's efficiency. How about this one? Regarding input controls, which of the following has as its objective that all transactions have been captured and there are no missing transactions? And the answer is B, complete. With complete or completeness, the objective is that all transactions have been captured. There are no missing transactions, because if there are missing transactions, the data is not complete. How about this? Which of the following is the purpose of determining if events are correctly entered? And that would be what? Now we're talking accuracy. Accuracy relates to whether events are correctly entered. 
validity relates to whether input data are approved and represent actual economic events, real but not fake. Accuracy assumes that if it's a real valid event, it needs to be recorded correctly. Okay, now we're going to learn some specific input and origination controls that they're going to ask you on the exam. And these input and origination controls ensure that transactions entered into the system are valid, complete, and accurate. One example of an input control is to automate data entry, removing manual input of data, thus the growing use of the term origination control to replace the term input. So if what you were doing was manually entering data, then you'd be concerned with input controls. The term origination control is only used when we're not manually entering data, but using automated data entry, like a barcode scanner. So this term automated data capture, that involves data origination with scanners rather than manual data entry. So companies that used to have people doing data entry that have replaced that with barcode scanners now are using what's called automated data capture to enter data into their system. Scanning with barcodes allows for automated data origination. It reduces errors associated with manual data input. The goals of automated data capture and scanning include accuracy, completeness, and efficiency. The advantage of automated data capture over manual data entry is that it increases which of the following? And if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you need more help with IT controls or any part of BEC, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75, where the right teacher makes all the difference.